Strike up the band. You're in Sheridan, Wyoming. Truly the West at its best. In fact, Sheridan has been officially recognized by True West Magazine as the number one Western town in America. Sheridan just has that little extra. The people, it, it, it isn't just buildings, it's the people. They wear the Western thing on the sleeve, you know what I mean? Uh, they talk it, they talk the talk, they walk the walk. And I don't think there's a town in the West that's as proud of its Western heritage, and it's obvious in every building. And there's other areas of the country, I'm from the Southwest, and West cowboy goes, comes in, goes out, they hide it, they bring it out. They have ad campaigns like from Cowtown to Wowtown. You know, it's ridiculous, but not in Sheridan. Sheridan is proud of its legacy. Sheridan holds its and Wyoming's history dear, yet functional. Great dining is a pleasure in the historic Sheridan Inn, where outside Buffalo Bill Cody himself once held court. He always had an interest here. Uh, he had his office on the second floor. He uh, uh, planned uh, the development of Cody uh, from this end. He auditioned uh, acts for the Wild West show from the uh, veranda. So he's had a long history of involvement with the end. Buffalo Bill Days is a summer celebration showcasing Western skills with a parade and historic reenactments. Sheridan's Y.O. Rodeo is one of the top competitions of its kind and includes unique, crowd-pleasing Indian relay race events providing unbridled excitement. The action in terms of the audience, the adrenaline they receive seeing uh, the, dis the flying dismounts from one horse to the other horse. When they're dismounting, getting off that one horse and just, they call it one-stepping, just hit the ground once and jumping onto the next horse. That's where a rider makes up time. And if a guy does that all three times, more than likely he would win a race. Entering town from Interstate 90, visitors can gain a unique perspective of Sheridan's early days in this log-encased museum, where exhibits are interpreted clearly and with precise detail. Sheridan's downtown features a plethora of historic buildings. You'll know you've arrived in the American West. Saddle and rope makers at King Ropes cater to rodeo and ranch hands alike. The Free Museum exhibits over 500 saddles, dating back more than a century. Across the street, the Mint Bar is right off the set of a Western movie, proudly displaying a hundred years of cowboy life in the rodeo arena and on the open range. It just started with ranchers, you know, coming in here. And if they get a good picture, they'd hang it up. And all these brands you see on the wall, they were all put in by a real, honest-to-God, little old wood-burning set. That life thrives at one of America's oldest dude ranch operations, Eaton's Ranch, where Hollywood filmmakers chose to bring to life a new remake of My Friend Flicka, based on the Western classic novel written by Mary O'Hara. Everything that I imagined the land would look like, all my research that I did, the incredible prose of the novel, the, the sentences that she wrote about the look and smell and feel of the land um, is captured here perfectly. I, I couldn't ask for a better example of what Wyoming means. Eaton's ranch operation caters to guests from all over the world. I like the riding and I like um, the, out, the open spaces. If you come from a crowded country like Germany, Europe, um, the open spaces are great. And um, it's fun for kids. At this and other Sheridan area guest ranches, young people are given the freedom to go out on their own. Anything you want, they'll do. Like if you want a Wrangler to go with you, they go with you. And if you don't, you can go by yourself. And you can wander freely. So that's really cool. At another stately location near Sheridan, classic home architecture is further enhanced by the Bradford Brinton Memorial, where a gentleman rancher's house and grounds are beautifully preserved. There are also numerous pieces of Western art and memorabilia on public exhibit. In Sheridan, the glory days of cattle barons usher forth at Trail End State Historic Site. A wildlife refuge is located nearby, offering close-up views of the American bison and a small herd of elk. Wildlife viewing is a favorite pastime heading into the Bighorn Mountains west of Sheridan. You'll have opportunities to encounter all sorts of critters. 
Scenic Sheridan Area Mountain Drives offer overlooks of top of the world splendor. Pleasant drives on good roads are sidelined by wildflower filled meadows. Adventure sport lovers will enjoy a wide pullout along Highway 14 near the town of Dayton. It's one of the Rocky Mountains best areas for hang gliders to catch just the right breeze. The whole concept of this mountain is number one, the consistency of the mountain. You got an 80% chance of soaring this mountain any time of the day between March to October. The other part of this mountain that makes it such a great flying sport for all people all over the world to come to fly here is the, the tourists. The people that come up there in the parking lot and they ask you the questions. Softer, land-borne adventures in and around Sheridan are limitless, whether on the golf course or simply a stroll in the park. In the winter, snowmobilers thrive over hills and trails of the nearby Bighorn Mountains. A close-knit community treasures its natural surroundings and its historical significance. A western heritage of unsurpassed presence, a thriving downtown cherished as the center of an active, clean environment. Sheridan, Wyoming is without question, as it was and ever will be, the best of the West.